All right, let's get into some football talk. So, fantasy football versus reality. So, I wanted to go over the top five fantasy picks, the average draft fantasy picks, and I wanted to compare their cards. So, obviously, who sells, what position player sells the best in the hobby? Quarterback. Right? Right. No, no disputing that. Well, in fantasy, the quarterbacks aren't taken first. It's typically the running back. So, we're going to jump right into the first overall pick in most people's draft is Mr. Christian McCaffrey, former, former Stanford alum. <laughs> what are you thinking? C-Mac? Yeah, number no, one. No, 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 Consensus. No. It should be Josh Jacobs number oh, one. Oh, wow. Easily. Like, no, 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 no. Did he make the team out of training camp? <laughs> I think he's a third string. <laughs> but... So Christian McCaffrey had a great season. I think he was, and it, it was an extreme amount of their offense last year. I mean, he touched the ball more than anybody, even I think more than almost more than Cam Newton last year. Well, Cam Newton wasn't on the field the whole season, but more than the quarterback. So if you look at his cards, we're actually going to compare contenders, and for you newbies, Prism Silvers. So if you look at uh, <laughs> Christian McCaffrey's uh, contenders, yes, there's actually a brand that has autographs. It's called Contenders, and it used to be one of the more sought after cards before prism so i know a lot of you guys think oh it's only prism but no contenders used that's to be that, sought after that's that old time he collected it's that it old time he collected not, not you like <laughs> not used to it's, it's only been it's only like six months now uh, yeah, yeah it's no, things it's, change that, quick that's a, that's a long time ago yeah that six months in this hobby is ago. like 10 years man so christian mccaffrey's uh rookie ticket base <clears throat> 207 dollars prism silver 97 dollars. oh that's a deal so, um, you know, and these guys are running backs, right? So I know you guys in the chat before, I, running backs don't sell when it comes to the hobby. Well, maybe this is our year. I don't know. So uh, you go to number two consensus fantasy overall pick. And, um, well, actually, before we get to number two, I wanted to mention that Christian McCaffrey's prism is in 2017 prism. So it's probably going to be very hard for you to pack poll because those <laughs> boxes are now $5,499. For what? one box. Why is that? Because of Patrick? Because of Mahomes. Um, He's not even Watson's that good, in there as well. So, uh, yeah, those boxes are pretty pricey. So, second consensus overall pick, Saquon Barkley. Oh, man, this list is hurting my soul. <laughs> this is just average draft position, so the people have spoken to you. Right there. I mean, I, you know, I'd like to see, you know, uh, Garoppolo in there, too. It just, just doesn't happen. Um, so, a silver Barkley, 118. A contender's auto of Barkley, 2018 was his rookie year, 255. You go to number three, another running back, which is Ezekiel Elliott wearing the half shirt. And his uh, contender's base auto is 184, and his prism silver is 57. So before we move to four and five, I was looking at this and going, okay, who's the top seller? Saquon is the top seller amongst cards, right? Who has the newest cards out of the three? Saquon. Who sells the least? Elliot. Who has the oldest cards? Elliot. So is this like a new booty situation no, where it's dude, like, it, what have you done for me no, lately? It, it doesn't matter. No, it's the fact that we all know the shelf life of a running back. Elliot's going into his fourth year. It, does he have it? Is his prime behind him now? Does he have another really good year? Is it going to start? Is it going to start breaking down? Saquon, you could look at it and go, well, he's going to go right. This could be the best year of his career. And then McCaffrey, I, I don't know. McCaff, my issue with McCaffrey is that he has just literally touched the ball too much. He, he is just on the field and touching the ball. He, he can't, he can't basically put up the same stats as he put up last year. Yeah, I mean, but if if we were just focusing on those three running backs. Mm -hmm. What do you guys? Uh, who do you guys think long term? If you had to make a decision, who would you invest in out of those three? Oh man! I, and you guys in the chat as well. I'd go Barkley. Like, and I just explained why. He, I think he is still poised to have the best season of his career. Where I think the other two guys is he with Daniel Jones? Yeah, I was, I was like, you got to think Dude, about the team, bro. Yeah, I know. He, he catches the ball out of the backfield. He's gonna he, be, he's gonna he, be he may put up the numbers, he's but the team success, point. I don't know. He's explosive. Saquon. But, but, but what about which team has the best chance of winning a Super Bowl? Dallas. Okay, Dallas, so then yeah. you, he's the cheapest out of them all. Wouldn't you invest in Ezekiel Elliott? No. So And then <laughs> does Carolina even have a shot in that division? Everybody has a shot. So that's the thing that's befiling to me is that 
the first overall pick is is Christian McCaffrey. He's probably all, by far on the worst Carolina team he's always he's ever been on. They didn't even draft an offensive guy this year. It was all defense. They don't need one. They run their offense through him. You need more than just well. Then I would just stack the box if I was playing them and stop him. You defensive kind of similar now? to what the Niners did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I I so okay. Well, obviously you don't believe in the Saquon Barkley hype. What? So I take it you're going C Mac Elliott then Barkley. I think I'm going Elliott at that price. Actually, that was a good segue. Number four on the list, Dalvin Cook. Every time you say segue, I just think of the like the Paul Blart. Part Mall yeah. <laughs> So Dalvin Cook. We need one of those here. Dalvin Cook, this was astonishing. So under $50 for a contender's rookie auto and $40 for a silver. So, and the 2017, I mean, the class, obviously, like we said, it's got Mahomes in it. But this guy has a lot of potential at this price. He's probably, out of the four we've talked about, he's probably the second best chance of getting in the Super Bowl behind Elliott, right? He has never sold well. Yeah. He, like, his rookie year, he didn't sell well. He He's never, his he has never translated well to the hobby. For whatever reason, Dalvin Cook, he could probably break the all-time rushing record in a season, and I don't think his cards would go up much. Hmm. Why do you think I, that I, is? I, don't, I have no idea. I, it, I don't, does his auto look like crap? I have no idea. Maybe because he's on Minnesota? Is it, is it the market? But we can't go with market if we're talking about Carolina over Dallas. So obviously Carolina, uh, McCaffrey sells for more than, than Elliot does. It, the, the Dalvin Cook, his, uh, one, he, he does have two different autographs. I think we're looking right there at his contender's autograph. That's he his did, newest one. He did have <laughs> the, the early autographs for like the DC4. I think he might have been number four in college. But... I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe maybe people were like, I don't like his autograph. But he, I remember, like, his cards were, he was one of the best rookie running backs out of that draft. And his cards never did well. I mean, after just extrapolating some of this data, the, the, the one thing I see is that the newest guy is selling more than the guys behind him. So is Clyde Edwards Hilaire this year? Is he going to be the guy that sells for more than Saquon now? So is it like you just you have like a short shelf life for running backs of any kind of value? Because I remember even Saquon, if you look at that price we had, the contenders at two fifty five, I think they were like eight hundred dollars the rookie year. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that's gone down significantly. Um, the last guy on the list is a receiver, and it's uh, you know can't guard Mike Michael Thomas. And his prices are going up. So 187 for a contenders uh, and 110 for a prism silver. But that that's still he is probably hands down the best at his position right now. It's him and D Hop. And you can get the best guy at his position, rookie ticket contenders auto for under 200 bucks. Yeah. I, that I mean that just this just tells me like, and I've said it before. What is the point of collecting any other position that's not a quarterback? Well, here's where I want to go with this. And because, you know, data that we've had in this hobby changes on a weekly basis. So you look at Patrick Mahomes. You look at his prices, right? Just won the Super Bowl. You look at his contenders. $35,000 for a contender, Patrick Mahomes. Woo, we jumped up quick real quick. 6000 for a prism silver. <laughs> what, did I, what did I just get done saying? <laughs> It, you got it. it. Quarterbacks. Correct. It's not even that good, though. <laughs> but it's, no, not, but, it's not even close. But here's my point. Here's my point. And I'm not saying this is going to happen. But my point is, is that these guys are so untouchable that nobody's going to have $35,000 to drop on a contender. Not many of us are. We'll, we'll have that kind of money. Or even $6,000 on a, on a Prism Silver. So, Brady, you can't afford... I'm saying there's so much of an influx of newbies in this hobby that they may be like... I've got Elliot on my fantasy team. I'm going to buy Elliot cards. It's a different scope of this hobby. I could actually see that this could be the year where running back value, it won't get close to quarterback, but it could pick up because there's just not going to be, you can't afford some of these, these guys that perform. You know what I'm saying? I like so, that train of thought. You yeah. know what I mean? So am I off I, base I get, here? I get what you're saying, but like in 2020, I would basically collect – every quarterback I possibly could 
and you know they're not all going to pan out, but you just need that one guy to be Patrick Mahomes to pay for your full investment. Right. It it's it's definitely a a high risk high reward type of deal because the quarterbacks are not going to be cheap. None of them are going to be cheap. There's not going to be a rookie quarterback this year that's going to be you're going to be able to get on the cheap except for like the the Nate Stanleys and the and the uh is it James Morgan? James Morgan. Um those guys maybe but might be cheap. But, but Tua Burrow, Eason, Love, Love. I get that, but like, those guys, yeah. those guys are. We've already looked at their prices. They're already untouchable for most people. So, but no, you, no. I mean, but you've seen what they. Patrick Mahomes, that Patrick Mahomes contender card, his rookie year. Was that a nine hundred dollar card, eleven hundred dollar card? We sold that same one for thirteen hundred dollars. Thirteen hundred dollars. So, yeah. Okay, so, and and that was actually after. He had already started. He was his his second season already started. Then we sold it. So that we didn't sell that his rookie year. No, his rookie no. year. You could probably get that. That card. rookie year. His rookie year. Probably he, like two hundred dollars. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So look at the upside. You you basically turn three four hundred dollars into thirty five grand. Yes. You'll never be able to do that with any running back. Yeah, but you'll never be able to do that with any <clears> receiver. <throat> you can literally buy all the best cards of every rookie running back yeah and it wouldn't equal the thirty five thousand dollars for one card right? yeah I, I think i think um to doug's point um i i, I could see that like so w obviously data is changing all the time in this hobby there's so many new people coming into this hobby obviously we've been we've been having no no real sports for a while you know what i mean like we just started getting sports backs and we're getting football back and football back now the fantasy guys that are also getting to the sports cards right now. They could be looking at the quarterback prices going like they're, they're kind of insane. Let me look at these, you know, these guys who were we we're drafting in the all everybody we're drafting in the first round are all running backs. Like, let me look at these guys cards and we can see I can see a situation where just like overnight Russell Wilson prism base yeah. cards are going mm -hmm. up to twenty five hundred dollars. I can see a situation where, wow, Saquon's contender is worth like four hundred now. Oh, it's worth four fifty well, now. I, I actually I think as an investment you can go different different positions and you can make money because what you're saying during the regular season somebody could have a big game somebody have a big couple games uh edwards hilaire can can go off thursday night and right. his cards could go up to five six seven hundred dollars per next week he has a bad week and they're back down to where they yeah were. It's, it's week to week so it's, it's week to week to football for football and you if you're quick enough you could buy and flip every week these other positions i'm saying if you're going for the big score you're going for that that card that you basically buy for three four hundred dollars that turns into a thirty thousand dollar card you could only do that with one position that quarterback is the only position that that can happen well but there's... you can absolutely make money and and even double your money probably on running back and receiver but you're going to be looking at Buy a card for a hundred dollars, sell it for so, two hundred bucks. So you don't think that anybody could be like the next Barry or Emmett, where they were long term. Their rookie look, cards look would be worth a lot. Look what you can get. You can go out and get the the highest grade Barry Sanders Barry Sanders card, or the highest grade Emmett Smith card, or you even go back. I think uh, Ladanian Tomlinson. I think he has contenders rookie autos, if I'm not mistaken. And you can consider him probably one of the top five running backs of all time. Right. You can buy his – you can probably buy his best card, the best grade. And it wouldn't – it would probably – I mean, it would be under – it would be so under, you under like – it probably under two grand. So you don't think over time those those top five running back guys, they, you don't think they'll go up I, in I price think, much? I think with running backs and receivers – with receivers it's tricky because you have – every team has four to five receivers that are on the field. Yeah. So – I learned how my lesson you, with how receivers. Do you how do you guarantee that your rookie receiver is going to be getting the ball more than anybody else? Yeah. Right. Um, with running backs, at least it's you, guaranteed at, touches. At least running backs, you do know. You yeah. do know. That's that, why it always surprises me that wide receivers sell for more than running backs. Yeah. yeah. You know. And I, uh, wide receivers tend to be more diva. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got that. Like, yeah. You know, you see what Odell Beckham, you see Antonio Brown's, you know, fallout. But I wanted to compare this this situation to basketball because I think a lot of basketball collectors, now that Ja and Zion aren't playing, a lot of the guys that jumped in during basketball are starting to look into football. So that's why I think this is important because Zion and Ja were so expensive that you started to see people buy Shea Gilgis Alexander. 
that you started to see people buy Tyler Hero. Started, you know, obviously Rui was selling the whole year. Your boy Brandon Clark was starting to sell mm -hmm. because there's just so much at the top that there has to be other guys that sell to fulfill everybody's PC because there's a lot of people, especially this hobby, that don't want to follow the trend. They want to be the guy that gets the next guy. Exactly. Now, hey, and there's maybe a lot of people like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so maybe maybe that's the situation with Russell Wilson right now, why his cards finally caught up. Um, but I could see it happening where there's just too much. Russell Wilson's too expensive. Mahomes is too expensive. Uh, Cam Newton's too expensive. Joe Burrow's too expensive. Well, Saquon's pretty affordable. He just had three touchdowns. Yeah, I mean, but there's always going to be those rookie quarterbacks that come into the league where you can get cheap. Like, you you can get, I mean, Eason and guys like that, even Tua. Like, you can get Tua and even Burrow. You can get, you can get these guys for... In certain sets, yeah. In certain sets, relatively cheap. Not cheap. Not cheap. Not yeah. cheap, but... Compared the, to like, $35,000. Like, yeah, the sky, cheap. the sky, like, with some, <laughs> like, if you hit, if you hit on one of these guys, the sky is the limit. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one last guy I wanted to compare to who's actually jumped up and um, is Deshaun Watson. So it's going to be Deshaun what, versus what, Patrick what, Mahomes what, what, what. on a Thursday, tomorrow. Big game. Just got um, that First bang. game back. And, um, you know, his prices have climbed. So last year, I remember this uh, contenders was around $1,200. They're now at 3220 Granted, it was from Shilstein123. Um, then you also have a silver PSA 10 that sold for 1200 So, you know, not even a fraction of Mahomes' prices, but in the same draft class. Man, I'm actually starting to that think. That draft is loaded, bro. I'm starting to think. So there's one thing to keep in mind, and I'm glad Ziggy brought this up. There's actually another good point about Mosaic he brought up that I'm going to bring up later here as well, that the price on the 17 prism box that we brought up, how many rookies do you get? So keep in mind, in 17, everything was silver. Everything was silver. So how many do you get? How many do you get a box? I want to find out because I don't remember. It's been such a long time in hobby buy a years. Buy a box for fifty five hundred. There was something. That, there was some. I remember. I remember because there was something like that was two really, a pack. There was somebody that really was paying attention to how many you get a, in, a, in, a, in a box. So. Oh yeah, that's right. That's true. Yeah, that's we should true. ask him. I, yeah. Um, shoot, but shoot uh, the because uh, I mean, if you're getting like fifteen to twenty rookie prism silvers in a box, then got a point though. <laughs> then I mean, you got a C Mac, you got a Watson, you could hit a Mahomes all in the same run, and maybe that fifty five hundred dollar box isn't that bad of a deal. But you know, you got to have the fifty five hundred dollar box. It's a lot to swallow on one box. But yeah, it's I'm, interesting. I'm, I'm, it's I'm, interesting to look at that and see how many rookies that are I, I'm, prime I'm, I'm, I'm are in this. I have to open up one of them boxes on my on my on my new channel, on you that know, second channel. I gotta I gotta say, I rem seventeen. I know in in hobby years that's like thirty forty years ago. But at the old shop, I remember 17, we had a wall. A crap oh, ton of We it. had a wall full of that. Uh, yeah, we, had it literally, it. we had And it, we were not making money on those we had it. Yeah, we were breaking even. We had it stacked up to the ceiling. I remember going, man, I don't know what we're going to do with all this prism. Yeah. And, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm talking... True story. 50 cases? Yeah, true so Ziggy story, said uh, uh, three per pack with 36 per box. Granted, there's like 200 rookies, I think. So, yeah. you know, there's a lot of guys in I'm there. I'm super depressed right now. Oh, there's a lot of products <laughs> that we could do. No, I mean, that one, like, I That one particularly that one, is pretty bad. I remember, like, man, C Rad, you're still running those six box, like, prisms. <laughs> He's like, at twenty nine ninety nine a spot. I, I I did like twenty <laughs> something six box half case breaks that year of twenty seventeen. Yeah. It was like twenty nine thirty nine dollars. Yeah, twenty nine ninety nine twenty nine ninety nine twenty nine ninety nine six box boxes. half case random and all card ship. Yeah, and now and if I want to remember correctly, I think those grade pretty well. So I mean, you get them at homes, you're probably doing pretty well, right? You're gonna pay for your box, so. May not be, uh, you know, at 5000 it may not be, enough, you know, maybe kind of low, but we'll see. Last thing I wanted to talk about, releasing on Friday, Shiny, Shiny. Mosaic. And we've got it on the site. we got six box PYTs. We also have six box randoms. So this is interesting um, to look at. And uh, Ziggy asked, do you think Padini made a mistake releasing this before Prism? I don't think so. I think it's kind of like the appetizer before the main course. Yes, sir. Um, I think this is going to set the market for the prisms, which may be just out of control. Um, but And he also points out, which I haven't had a chance to dissect the checklist, so I thank you for your knowledge, sir, is I guess none of the subsets have rookies. So I believe the rookies are only True one rookie. set. Yes. So they're going to be hard to hit. Silvers are probably going to be pretty hard to hit. And, and I expect the Joe Burrows – 
Call me crazy, but I think a silver Joe Burrow PSA 10 will probably sell for 2K out of the gate. I thought I saw like the uh, the debut cards. Like as an insert? Maybe yeah. they have the debut and then the regular yeah. rookie, but they don't have any inserts. No, I think. Of them. Now, I'm assuming they still have the uh, like the stained glass. Is that. Is yes, gonna but it's not going to be rookies. It's, it's going to be only vets like Ooh. Patrick Mahomes, Rodgers, uh. stuff like that. So, but you got to think if the LeBron card sells for X amount of dollars, a Patrick Mahomes uh, stained glass should do pretty well. Probably a two three hundred dollar card. There, yeah. yeah, minimum two three hundred dollar card. So the more I've di- I dive into this, I think for one, the timing is is impeccable, and I know that's another name of a product, but. <laughs> It's coming out before or right after the Chiefs Texans game. So it's coming out Friday. So there's going to be just the ultimate amount of hype. Um, it's got two autographs, which I think is going to be the afterthought. I think it's going to be all about those colored parallels. And I think that the, the basketball collectors that have moved over to football now, this is perfect for them. So I think, I, I think the product, I think it's a little high priced right now, but I think we're going to see these singles sell for more than we think. See, I still think the autograph content in football is king. I don't think the the rookie cards, that basketball mentality has come full swing in football yet. I still think the Burrow rookie auto is going to sell for more than just the Burrow base card. And Ziggy's saying that they're, uh, they have the Marvels in here, but it's only vets. So usually a Marvel is a rookie. What? Yeah, <laughs> that's what he's saying, be it based on the checklist, so. I haven't even hit a Marvel out of Donruss yet. They got Marvels in Mosaic now? Yeah, I guess Why so. Why didn't they just save that for Donruss Optic? Or put it in Donruss, right? I mean, that, or yeah, Donruss Optic would make more sense. So, yeah, the price of the box is, I think it's going for eight fifty now, So which is an insane price for football. But I think it speaks to the hype. I think it speaks to what collectors are chasing now. Um, but we will have to see. We'll have another show next week. We may not have completed uh, sales data on it, uh, but we'll see.